Uh, this afternoon, I'm speaking to Hazel Dean. Hazel, how, are, how old are you now? Well, uh, it's rather a pertinent question, yes, but I will admit to being 97. Oh, my goodness. Yes. You look extremely well. I <laughs> hope I look as well as that when I'm your age. Uh, That's very kind of you. <laughs> you were born in what year then? 1911. And you were, before you were married, you were Hazel Wilson. Wilson, Wilson yes. And uh, what primary school did you go to, Hazel? There was an infant school in Port St Mary, which is now a house, I think, just at the end of the promenade. Mm -hmm. Port St Mary promenade was the infant school and then the boys' school, big boys' school, which mm -hmm. was run by headmaster Mr Place. Very, very yeah. clever man yes. at that time. Yes. And then you came into went Park Road, is it? No, went, then you went to the big girls' school up at the Four Roads, which became a clinic eventually. Uh, and the new, what I call the new school, which must be 60, 70 years old, is on the field opposite. Yes, <laughs> yes. yes. And uh, what age were you then? You did actually go to Murray's Road eventually. I no, 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 not no, Murray's Road, Park, Park Road. Road. Oh, yes, it's Park, Park Road. Road. Yeah. Murray's Road was a school, yes, but uh, I went to Park Road. That would be about 1923 or four. I couldn't tell you, mm. really. And I was what we called in those days a train girl. All right. You came in, left home at, on the seven-something train in the morning, and got back at night. We were always in the dark when we left oh home in the winter yes. and when we got up back yes. at night. Yes. Yes. And, and uh, usually, I don't know whether you ever heard of the big snow. No, that I think well, was before my time. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> well, I was at school and we all were, the train stuck at Palasala and yes. we couldn't get home yes. because the train wouldn't go any further oh, right, than right. Palasala. So that was quite an adventure. The Park yes. Road was uh, boys and girls, was it at that it time? Was, it was yes. mixed, and I think sometime later the boys went up to yes. what now what we now call St Ninian's High School. That's is it? right. We the girls rather resented it because the boys had a beautiful new school, mm -hmm. and we had the thing with a great black hut along Park Road with a big yes. black hut along the yes. yard at yes. the bottom for PE and meals and all that kind mm -hmm. of thing you know so I believe you studied art at, uh, in those days yes well we had to study everything but art mm -hmm. was my favorite mm -hmm. yeah I enjoyed that and you, did you study art in Park Road or did you go somewhere else to? well school in those days was scattered we had one building in Salisbury Street I remember mm -hmm. another I forget the names of the Douglas Street, but art was in, is it Westmoreland Road? Yes, okay. yes. So there, that, we trooped along to that once a week. Or is it uh, on the corner of Kensington Road? That's, is it, that's, that's the place, yes. yes. That's, the, that's the old With Douglas the Art windows. School, yes. yes. So how old were you when you went up to oh. uh, Kensington Road? I don't know, 15, Were you 15 probably, about that time? 14, yes, 15, yes, yes. and then continued there until I left and went off to college in 1930. Yes. 30, yes. 30, Can you remember some of your, some of your experiences at uh, the Douglas School of Art, because that's what we refer to it uh, today, uh, going up there, uh, who, who was the head teacher, for example? At the School of Art? Yes. Well, there were the only the two. There was Peter Chisholm, who was a wonderful man, and, uh, of course, Archie Knox. Yes. was equally, yes. as you know, a very wonderful man. Yes. But uh, in those days, it wasn't that we were all desperate to study art, was it? This mm -hmm. was a day out, and art was with it, and yes. that was it. But Can you remember the classrooms yeah. was it one big room or was it divided into two yeah, I can remember it perfectly you went in and on the right hand side there were small statuettes covered with uh, rather dusty cloths yes. and as we went by being uh, adolescent girls we used to flick up the uh, 
<laughs> we learned our geography you that way. Your geography was it? Yes, I'm sure. Yeah. Yes, and, and how would the teacher react to that? They didn't see that. They didn't I hope. see it. Yeah. And then yeah. there was a big room, and uh, usually they put screens across. Mm -hmm. And on one side, Peter Chisholm had his class, mm -hmm. and on the other side, we were with Archie Knox. Yes. And Peter, he was a a teacher. I I love Peter. Peter Chisholm was great. He he taught, and told you what to do, and said he always used to say on converging lines, we had to do converging mm. lines. Look at the railway poster. And he had a poster on the mm. wall where all the lines mm. converged. So we learned that yes. with him. But Archie, I won't say he was our favorite, but Archie taught in a different way. Archie gave it out and you absorbed it if you wanted to. And if you didn't want to, Yes. You played noughts and crosses, sort of yes. thing. Yes, and, and, and you wanted to. Absolutely. I wanted to, yes. naturally. Yes. Not that I was a genius or particularly interested. You instinctively knew that Archie had something. Mm -hmm. so and, and how did he teach? What did he use as sort of uh, aids, well, visual aids and whatever? He would come in with, uh, I suppose he made a plastic cone thing about that high mm. and there'd be squares and circles and he'd, he'd throw them down on the floor and they'd land in a heap, a cube, a triangle and something and he'd sit back and he'd say, draw that <laughs> and you would set to yeah. and it was a wonderful thing. Yes, yes. I learned he didn't say to you, look, that line goes that way, that goes that. You did it. You watched mm -hmm. it. You did it. And it has served me very well yes, yes. ever since. Was he impatient? Because he was what he was in his 60s at that stage, I think. Was he? Yes, so his early 60s. Oh, he had his lovely blonde hair and grey hair, Bob, yes. you know. Um, not unduly so, not more than he deserved to be, mm -hmm. because we did give him rather a hard time. Mm -hmm. um, he would come round and he would say, that's wrong, and that's wrong, and that's wrong, let me sit. And he'd bump you off the chair, and mm -hmm. he would sit, and he'd do a couple of swift strokes, and that was right, mm -hmm. yes. And I believe you have a photograph. I just have it here. Um, I, maybe I'll give you this, and you can maybe look oh. at it and tell me yes. a little bit about how did it come about that it's a group of. Uh, well, you know? I I had a box brownie in those days, mm -hmm. and I really took some marvelous mm -hmm. photos. Keep turning up in my old albums now, and I'm very proud of that box brownie. This was a group. Mm -hmm. I think we were probably leaving school. Mm -hmm. You know, where I'm taking yeah. a last thing. There's Archie, of course. Mm -hmm. And that's Peter Chisholm. Mm -hmm. That's me. You're in the middle. I am. But well, you were a favourite student then. Uh, maybe a determined one. A I determined was be in one. the middle. Yes. With my camera. Yes, but if you were interested in art, I'm sure Archie yes, must have. I was. Uh, of course, Archie was not the man that he. We didn't know that he was going to be so honoured, so wonderful. He was an art master. Yes. Uh, instinctively, I'm sure we got something from him, but uh, we loved both Archie and Chizzy. They were, they were two great... Archie and Chizzy, that's yes, what you call them. that's yes. right. And he, 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 you must have been quite important because we have here your name that is beautifully illustrated in Knox Lettering and Colours. And the famous little birds as well. Yes, that's a treasure. Well, those of us who dared gave him our autograph books. Mm. And he would or would not mm -hmm. put your name in. If he didn't want to do it, he didn't do it. Mm -hmm. But I'm very thankful he did that. And years and years ago, I don't know how long ago that is, I took that out of my autograph book mm -hmm. before I knew that anything was going to be done about Archie and I had it framed 
with this, and mm. I'm so glad I did it. Yes, it looks wonderful. Yes, yes it's it was a real a good treasure. Idea. Yes, uh, he did this idea. for other students. He was known for this of taking home yes. students' exercise books over the weekend, and then they come back on Monday, and their names were beautifully yes, uh, uh, yes, uh, decorated. They would do it. Yes, and you know, it was wonderful, wasn't it? Yes, it was indeed. Yes. yes. So did these students did actually like him as a uh, as a person? Yes, I think we all liked him. But we were a lot of girls, and we were all yes. chatting, and mm. there were more important things than art. And we, mm. the noise would rise in the our section of the room, and Peter Chisholm would come round the screen at the mm -hmm. corner, and he would raise and he'd peer over the tops of his spectacles, and he would. Just look, he never yes. said a word. And the noise died down, yeah. there was silence, and we would get on with our work. Mm -hmm. And then, ten minutes later, we were all chattering away again. Mm -hmm. It must have been difficult Well, he to was, cope. at the end of his career, he was teaching up to 69 years of age. Did you know that? Was he? I didn't. Yes, I yes. didn't. Well, I left, uh, I left in 32. Mm. No, I didn't. No, it, it was must 30. Have been 30. Yes. So he died three years after he that. He must have been three, he mm. was three years after that. Yes. yes. I got a wonderful letter from another one of his students uh, about that time. And they were preparing for an evening dance or a, a social and the teachers were invited. And the girls were actually preparing to have a dance with Archie. Oh. You can imagine that, can you? Not only imagine, I practice it, <laughs> yes. We went. Uh, in our last years, I say we were resentful that the boys had St Ninians, but the last two school parties, oh, they were wonderful mm -hmm. in those days. We went up to St Ninians, and I can still remember absolutely dousing ourselves in Soir de Paris or, or yes. something, and then out we'd come. Well, the favourite game was what we called Silly Old Man. Do you know it? No, I don't. Silly Old Man or Kiss in the Ring. I'll have to show you sometime. Yes. Um, <laughs> where one person, there'd be perhaps a boy in the middle, yes. and the ring would dance round singing, Silly Old Man, he lives alone, he wants a wife, he can't get one. Yes. Go around, choose your own, take whoever you like it. Yes. Well, they picked somebody in, and you had to kiss mm. them. Mm. Well, if you got in the middle, the first thing you did was go make a beeline for Archie. Really? So he was popular then? Oh, very. And he had a beard. Yes. And a moustache. Oh, yes. You told me you liked That's men with right. beards. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you haven't grown one, have you? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee, yes. Uh, so they were good parties. Yes. But and he entered into it. Yes, that's wonderful. He was wonderful. Uh, yes. To finish that story, the, the girls were waiting on the, it was the 22nd of February. The dance was arranged and the teacher came in and told them that Mr. Knox had died that morning. Is that so? And she oh, said wow. how sad that they were. She said that he was, she remembers him as a perfect gentleman. If you were to sum up Archibald Knox, not taking into account of who he was later in life, but uh, your experience of him then, how would you sum him up? I would say he was one of nature's gentlemen, a perfect gentleman. And I would say he stood of a, a lot of, we gave him a lot of hard stuff, you know. But he ever, I never knew him bear any resentment. Mm -hmm. He was a great man. Mm -hmm. And although at 17 or 18, you're not considering whether men are great or not. Mm -hmm. He absorbed it too. I yes. say we absorbed his yeah. art, we absorbed his character, and I loved him enough to take from my autograph oh, yes. that and keep it. And on the back, mm -hmm. I have written various names. Oh yes, there's lots of names. And I put to my daughter Heather. Yes. You know when I no longer need yes. it. Yes. So. And that was long before yes. he was started off on this trail. But he must have been a very humble man because he knew that he had done all this work uh, in London. We did. Uh, he know. knew, and, and yet here he was teaching in the schools in the Isle of Man and not really being appreciated for the great man that he was. I, 
soul destroying is a hackneyed expression. It mm. must have been. Mm. I I do think sadly now that we should have done more, appreciated him more, said, mm. but we didn't know about mm. this. Why didn't somebody tell us? Mm. He was he very didn't. humble about all of this then, I think. He never said a word about really? it. Mm. Yes, and nobody else mm. in the school or out of it ever told me. Yeah. Of course, I was away again from 1930, so I suppose yeah. I would lose touch. And when you think of it that today, um, metal work pieces, jewellery work pieces that he oh. designed, uh, ones in the Metropolitan Museum in New York, ones in the Museum of Modern Art in New yes, York, yes. a piece in the v &A in London, yes. and so many other pieces all around the world. What yes. do you think of this new society, the Archibald Knox Society now? I believe I you're, a, you're an honorary member now. I am, and I'm very proud of that, though you took me by surprise. And it's a wonderful thing to have, mm. you have, what shall I say, resurrected Archie Knox, you, mm -hmm. you really have, and I am proud to belong to that, and I wish that I'd perhaps started earlier and done something myself, yeah. because one of the greats, and we would have let him go. But what you've done today in this interview, your reminiscence of Archie Paul Knox, is extremely important to us because that's a primary source uh, material for us. So in, in in the future, you know, this is going to be very important. I think your 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 memories. Well, that embarrasses me a bit because, as you know, if I uh, I should have swatted things up, but I've just said what I actually remember, and. Uh, I did all the time think a lot of Archie Knox, even mm. in his classes when we gave him mm. trouble. You know, we weren't serious in those days. Mm. But um, why do you think he remained a bachelor all his life? He didn't ask me. <laughs> 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 Maybe. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, a lot of uh, the great artists, I suppose. Um, they haven't time. Mm -hmm. Women can't be just put into the background because of art, can they? Yes, no. no. But he devoted he was his a whole lovely man. Yes, he yes. devoted his whole life he to did. his art. You know yes. his 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 epitaph on his gravestone in yes. Braddon, what it says Archibald Knox, humble servant of God yes. in the ministry of the beautiful. And he was. He was. I and poor Chizzy standing there, a great man too. <laughs> yes. But he painted pictures. He would he would do scenes. But uh, there we are. Right. It's nice to see my old friends on the yes. photo with him. Well, well, and I believe you're going to give me a copy of that photograph and a copy of that uh, beautiful illustrated name Hazel, and we're going to put that in our newsletter of the next day. Are you? Yes, well, that's, that's, that's good. good. I remember yeah. speaking to you on one occasion before and something you said really st struck me. You said Archibald Knox had soul. He did too. Thank you, Hazel. He it did. was wonderful speaking to you. Well, I've enjoyed it more than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you.